Ask me any standard interview question, and I could probably answer with a well-thought-out response. But when a hiring manager, a colleague, or a new contact asks me to describe myself, my palms begin to sweat. I often stumble on whatever random assortment of words come out of my mouth. However, I'm the most qualified person to answer this question. So how do you answer, describe yourself in an interview setting? The answer is preparation. Similar to how you would prepare to answer job interview questions like, what's your biggest strength? or why are you looking for a new job? You need to prepare to answer another common interview question, like how would you describe yourself? It's easy to dismiss this question when preparing for an interview because it seems like the answer would be straightforward. You spend all your time with yourself. Of course you could rattle off the perfect answer full of impressive adjectives. But when you add the pressure of an interview, it can be difficult to describe yourself sufficiently. There is a surefire way to make sure you have a first-rate response. During your interview preparation, follow these five steps. One, make a you list. To have a solid foundation for your describe yourself response, you need to understand your qualities and traits. Make a list of your positive attributes, accomplishments, responsibilities, and qualities. Include everything that describes you, from what you excel at, to your most complimented traits, to every good synonym in between. Take five to 10 minutes to sit down with a pen and paper and get all your thoughts out. Two, compare your qualities with the job description and employer's expectations. While we have a lot of excellent characteristics, when you're applying for a job, the hiring manager wants to hear why you're most qualified for this position. Read through the job description in detail and highlight what the company is looking for in a candidate. What do they list under qualifications and responsibilities? Try to understand what the employer expects this new employee to do. Now, compare your list with the job description. Where can you match up your skills and strengths with what the company is looking for in a candidate. Number three, craft your story. Since you're interested in this particular job, there are likely skills you called out that match the company's description of a qualified candidate. But it's okay if the skills you identify are not a one-to-one match. Think about how you can apply what you do know to what they'd like this person to do. You'll have qualities that apply. You'll just need to get a little creative with your response. Consider your past experiences and your current job. Are there any themes you can mention, like you're consistently a revenue generator, you're a creative thinker, or that you're a positive self-starter? Now, how can you connect those themes to what the job is calling for? And tell a great story. Remember that storytelling skills are especially important for any behavioral interview questions too. Four, create your response. When asked how to describe yourself in an interview, you want to keep your response brief and concise ideally between 60 and 90 seconds. Some common mistakes we see are applicants trying to tell their whole story and then failing to keep the interviewer's attention. The hiring manager wants to hear why you're the best candidate for the position, and this is your chance to tell them. Craft your response using your skills and experience, the ones that are most applicable to the role. Write it down and iterate until you feel it's the best representation of you. Five, practice, practice, practice. In the case of a good interview response, practice makes perfect. Even with a prepared response, nine times out of 10, you won't recite it perfectly when asked during an interview. So practice communicating your key points out loud. Try not to sound too scripted. Hearing yourself speak will help you find the best flow and determine what pieces of information you definitely want to include. How to answer describe yourself in an informal setting. Preparing to answer how to describe yourself in an interview is an anticipated part of the job search process. But what happens when you're asked to describe yourself in an informal setting, like at a dinner with friends or at a casual networking event? While you don't need to craft and memorize a response in an informal setting, it's helpful to do a little preparation beforehand. It's good practice to apply the steps above from time to time with a personal lens to ensure that you can communicate effectively who you are. Consider it your personal elevator pitch. Start by writing down the key facts about yourself, like what you do for a living, where you went to school, what you like to do for fun, and a few of your key traits. Depending on the setting, you can add fun and creative tidbits about yourself that are relevant to the audience at hand. Examples of answers to describe yourself. If you're looking for examples of how to describe yourself, look no further. There are many routes you can take when you're looking to answer this question. You can describe yourself in one sentence, a handful of sentences, or even describe yourself in three words. You can describe a personality trait, an aspect of your work ethic, or what type of employee you are. Check out these examples that elaborate on a specific attribute to get the ideas flowing. Here are some examples. I'm an avid learner. 
I'm an avid learner. I'm always seeking opportunities to learn new things. Developing new skills and honing my existing ones helps me bring my best and sharpest self to work each day. For example, in my current role, my team needed assistance with the design. So I found an online class that would teach me how to use a company approved design software so that I could help the team. I'm collaborative. I love to collaborate with others on my team and across departments. To me, establishing good relationships at work is crucial to the success of a team and of a company. I enjoy when the opportunity arises for cross-functional team collaboration because it allows me to better understand how other departments operate and it helps me to use my expertise to help others. I'm currently working on a project right now in collaboration with our human resources and information technology department and I've really enjoyed working together to achieve a common goal. I'm a leader. I'm a leader on my team and at my company. Even though I don't have any direct reports, I believe that everyone can lead by example and be a resource for others. I often take the lead on projects and offer a helping hand where I can. With support from my manager, I lead the initiative to start an employee resource group that supports our women in the workplace. I'm results-oriented. I'm a results-oriented marketing professional. I love digging into the numbers and analytics of a campaign as much as I love getting creative for my clients. The data behind the work shows how successful I am at promoting my clients' products and services. If the numbers aren't there, I'll continue to iterate what I'm doing until I meet my goal. There's nothing better than achieving desired results because I know I'm meeting my clients' expectations. I'm entrepreneurial. I have an entrepreneurial spirit. I love to learn new things, innovate, and share my ideas to make my team and company a better workplace. I take calculated risks and love seeking new opportunities. I believed there was a way to improve our processes in my current role, so I researched and identified solutions to streamline our operations. I presented my idea to the team and it was well received by all. We implemented the solution the next quarter. Creative or funny answers to describe yourself. The cool thing about describing yourself is that you get to show off what makes you unique. We all have our quirks and idiosyncrasies that make us who we are. Depending on the company you're interviewing with or how the conversation is going, you may be able to sneak in a few creative and fun self-descriptions. The best place to start to identify what makes you unique is to turn within. But if you need a little help, don't be afraid to turn outward too. How have other people described you? Maybe you've been referred to as the employee with the best Zoom backgrounds or the most creative out of office creator. Sometimes when we seek to describe ourselves, we find ourselves at a loss of words or using the same three descriptors over and over again. Asking friends, family, or coworkers how they view you or how they would describe your characteristics adds a whole other level of creativity. A few other places you can turn to for inspiration include an old report card, a LinkedIn recommendation, a social media comment, your high school superlative, or your mom. She always knows you the best. Be sure to read the room before you share anything too playful or out there. But describing yourself with a funny answer when appropriate can really help the interviewer get to know who you are. Words to describe yourself. Finding the right word to describe yourself can feel challenging, but there are so many descriptive words available and even more good synonyms that can be used. Below are a hundred words to get you started. Use these words to describe yourself in one word or pick a few and describe yourself in three words. The possibilities are endless.